The Somali population in Chicago is very small, very tight-knit. Everyone's friends, everybody knows each other. There's also a lot of cab drivers that are Somali. Somalia, due to its location on the Horn of Africa as a port and a hub for trade, it's got a whole bunch of different influences. So you've got basmati rice, for example, you would normally associate it with Indian or Pakistani food in the subcontinent, but you've also got pasta due to the Italian imperialist presence in, in that area. So we're going to go head over to Mogadishu Somali restaurant now, going to try some of this uh, halal Somali food and hang out with some cab drivers and see what kind of food they enjoy eating. So right now it's sort of in between breakfast and lunch hour here at the Mogadishu restaurant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, some breakfast and I'm also going to get some lunch and maybe we can kind of observe the differences and try a little bit of both. This so, one coming for you is a breakfast. And that's the and breakfast is, plate? Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me... This what, is a pancake, angera. It's a lighter than the Ethiopian one. Okay. And then what, what, what do I eat that with? You can eat with the tea with and the tea. The olive oil. Yeah, black tea, olive oil, or a system oil. So put, just put the oil on the bread? And put the, the tea on it. And put the tea on it? On it, yeah. Oh. And that's how they eat. Oh. Yeah. OK. And then you eat with your hand. OK. Or if you need. Now we're talking. All yeah. Right. That sounds great. For lunch, you can order with the chicken legs or fish. Then yeah. I will have some chicken legs. Yes, chicken legs so. Okay, so as Jama was explaining, we have uh, a traditional lunch, and then we have here what is more commonly eaten for breakfast. This is the injera, the, the flatbread, which you said is a little bit thinner than the Ethiopian version, and it's served with some limes here. And uh, I think we're gonna start with this one because it's breakfast, so breakfast should come first. We're gonna drizzle it with olive oil, sesame oil, honey, and then we're gonna put some of this black tea on it. And then we're just gonna mash it. You're only supposed to do it with the right hand because your left hand traditionally in, uh, in Arab culture is, is used like for in the bathroom, used for a dirty business. So you're only supposed to use your right hand to do stuff where you're eating food. More tea. And now we're really going to town here, this business. So Drama said that they eat this with a banana sometimes. It was great. This is the best. The mixing of the tea into the food is what's particularly interesting about this. I've never had a meal where you're instructed to pour hot tea into your food and mush it up with your hand. So the black tea is like a really nice sweet floral bitter flavor. It sort of cuts the fattiness of the oils and the sweetness of the honey and it sort of like grounds it a little bit more. I am pro pouring hot beverage on your food. And now we've got da, 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 lunch is served, which is composed of rice, chicken thigh, spinach, and mixed vegetables. I'm going to put some of this green hot sauce next to the rice. Whoa! You know the cartoon where you feel like, like suddenly like the temperature rises in your face? Like a thermometer, that's how I feel right now. It's really, really spicy. It's really delicious. Okay, here we go. The chicken is really delicious. It just, it tastes like really simple oven baked chicken. It's really tender. The skin is baked tighter on the outside, but on the inside, and it goes very well with a mouthful of rice and super hot hot sauce. The spinach is really delicious. I was expecting it to have kind of like a sag, an Indian sag taste, but it's not nearly as strong. It's much simpler, if that makes any sense. It's not overly seasoned, which is really nice. Jama, your lunch looks totally different than my lunch. Yeah, everybody eats different things, right? You can eat with me, no problem. I can? Yeah, you can. Are you eat. sure? Yes, yeah. I would love to try some of this. Yeah, okay. you can do that. We usually eat in a, in a gathering, you know. If I invite you to my home, you know, we come around and eat together. That's really lovely. That's how, I really how, like that. How okay. That's what they do. Yeah. Cheers. So, yeah. Oh, that macaroni is delicious. A lot of people like our food when they come in and I hope this will also spread to the other people. Here we are not, we don't, we, are, we don't have a big community of Somalis 
in Chicago. You do do not? It's not a very big community, I mean, compared to Minnesota. Maybe we could talk about this for one minute. So why, why Minnesota? That is a frigid hellscape. Minnesota, I hope, is the first state who accepted a large number of Somalis. When we come here, people, they don't speak good English. Mm. Everyone want to say, where are you? I'm in Minnesota. So he want to move. It must be hard, though, because it's so cold. It's cold, but it's only for three months cold. The rest of the year is... Fair yeah. point. Yeah. Omar says he's, he's a... Orba. Orba, yeah. yeah. Small camel. Small camel. Yeah. Okay. Specific yeah. camel. A specific, very specific small <laughs> camel. A camel. A male. A male. He used to have camel in back home. Outskirts, I used to follow up the camel soldiers. Can I have a nickname? <laughs> Should we give you a nickname? Yeah, yeah. yeah give me a nickname. Oh, oh, oh. After prayers, we will give you a good one. <laughs> well, but, but, India, uh, India. well, but we're leaving. Okay, we're you, leaving. India. 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 India means India. small eyes. Small eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course. India, yeah. So, you have to give me a racist nickname. No, no. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Uh, you see, the, re the reason they, they say Qurba, he looks like the small camel and he's like active, like small camel. I want a different nickname. Can I be a, can I be a big camel? No. <laughs> well, so I have to be like a Chinese camel or something like that, which I guess I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me a break. All right. Really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime at the Mogadishu Somali restaurant. Uh, and if you would like to watch more episodes, please click here to watch.